Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to see how to create a login form, how we perform a secure login in PHP with MySQLite database connection. Before getting started, if you are new to this channel, do like, share and subscribe. Let's not waste our time and let's get started. Let me open my code. We have done with our registration yesterday. If you have not yet watched the registration video, do watch it so that you will understand what is happening with the login form. Done few changes like design the nav bar. So here I have given the registration. The index page I have just given a text as welcome to Sneha Coach. And here on nav bar I have given a register button and a login button. So now we have to create this login. We have done a registration part yesterday. Now let's go to register.php now what you have to do is we have to create a login form first and then we have to write the code let's create a file login.php here we have to include our header and footer we'll go to our register page we'll copy this which is header and navbar so we'll just include this file in our login page as well so after pasting we need to design the form section dot section inside this i will have container and row column md12 here we need form go to get bootstrap for the form design get bootstrap if you know the form design you can type but to make it simple we use get bootstrap so the latest version here is 5.2 so go to doc and search here for form so here you have a basic sample let's copy this and go to a code and paste here just align it we don't require this we don't require all these login will have any of the two field right it can be your phone number or email and the password so here what uh, we are taking is we'll take the email address and we'll be taking the password we'll give form actions so the action will be performed i mean in code.php and method is going to be post and then here we'll give name so input will have a name attribute and we'll name it as email and here give a name attribute and name it as password now for this i just rename this button name to login here i will give name for the button i'll just give as login button now when this login button is clicked it will go to action so which is code.php let's copy this login button and go to code.php we'll check if is set of dollar post of of the login button so if the login button is clicked we are taking email and password to make the login successful we are taking our email create a variable email is equal to dollar post of email this dollar post of email is coming from the name attribute go back copy paste this once again rename this to password i want to make one thing clear that many people would be thinking that there is separate table for login and separate table for register but that is not the case the login part is taken from the register table existing mail or existing number only we use for login there is no separate table for it so we are going to fetch the details from our register table so here we'll have login query we'll be fetching email we'll check if that email is present in that table then we are going to tell the user is logged in if the email is not present or if there is no credential of that uh, particular user we'll be telling that the credential does not exist so this is the concept of the login the login query is equal to we'll be using this particular table which is users so we are going to fetch the detail which is existing select the from users is a table name where email is equal to dollar email and 
password is equal to the variable name dollar password so here basically we are taking the two thing we are using and operator i hope you all know the concept of and operator and operator both the condition has to be true right so that is why we are using and operator the email has to be correct and even the password has to be correct then only user can log in if any of this is wrong we will be telling that the credential don't exist and variable login query run is equal to using mysqli query function we have to connect so connection this connection is nothing but a database connection so here using mysqli connect function we have connected our host name and this is username password is null and this is our database name so once the connection is done we have to connect this variable where the query is to a semicolon then we have to check that if the record is existing in a table we'll use here mysqli number of rows function rows of dollar query run is greater than zero which means that we are checking if there is any data in that table else we'll tell echo then yeah does not exist in the semicolon the data is present we'll echo and tell login successful login successful in the semicolon and save this let's go reload so let's click on login so we have our login let's design this login form a bit go to login let us give this as let's give just t5 content center and make this 12 to 6 and then you can reload and check yes it's working margin top i have just pasted here hard It's a bossy, it's body, and then card header inside this data. Next to tag, I will just give it as login form, and I'll just give a class text center inside this. We'll cut this and paste it here with her card let's go and refresh let's click on login so here you can see login form email and password let's log in using the existing credential so i'll be using third one which is sneha at gmail.com and uh, password is 12345 so here sneha at gmail.com and password is 12345 so when I log in, giving a message telling login is successful. Once the login is successful, it has to redirect again back to the index page. So we have to change that. And then uh, coming back, we'll try with another credential which does not exist in a table. So I'm going to try with the same thing and I will make a mistake here and I'll say I'll give a double A login. So it is telling that the credential does not exist. Whereas Neha double A does not exist. Let's redirect back to the index page once login coming back to the code here you have to give header location header within single quotes give location and give a colon make sure you give a space here and then mention your page name that is index dot php and give a semicolon once this is done again go back refresh now let's again log in using sneha at gmail dot com and give password one two three four and five let's log in so once logged in it is redirecting back to the index page i hope this video was helpful if you have any doubt let me know in the comment section like share and subscribe to the channel thank you for watching